Old guy here. Today we're gonna go over to a friend's house. He's got a new set of pistons and a new set of rings and a, a completed block. And we're gonna do a little uh, show and tell on how to do piston ring gaps. That's basically what we're doing today. Short, sweet, out of the way. Okay, what we're doing here today is we're gapping a set of rings. Peter's got new pistons and new rings and it's been bored so you would take the top ring and you insert it in the bore and then you grab one of your new pistons or your old piston doesn't matter and you kind of level it up Use the top ring notch uh, and you kind of make your ring as level as possible and then you use a feeler gauge. And you check it. In this case it has to be 18 thousandths. Next you bring it over to the end gap piston ring grinder and you hold it up against the grinder using those two little rubber things. It's kind of a pain in the butt to hold it straight. And then you activate the grinder. And it grinds the end of the gap on both sides evenly. After you grind it, you bring it back over to your bore and you repeat it. Slip it in, bring back the piston, level the piston according to the groove in the top of the block, and then you check it. And you just keep going back and forth until you have the right gap. So this is the piston after all three rings are installed. Now on this particular piston, we only had to end gap the top ring. The second ring was already gapped more than 18. So we didn't have to. And actually some people, they send them out that way. So you don't have to, but sometimes maybe it's just cause I am old. You did the top and the bottom, and then you have the oil ring underneath it. So this is what you do for ring gapping.